Sports Broadcasting Studios. This is Frank Feeney along with Raj. And uh, here today we're going to start doing our version of PTI. And uh, first topic today, Frank, is uh, Albert Hainsworth was signed by the Patriots, uh, traded to the Patriots. That was a surprising move, I thought. But I'm just glad that he's out of D.C. Because he's just been such a big problem for us, especially off, off the field. Because on, during a road range incident, he knocked a person out, and he's just been such a distraction for everyone, and he was just such a bad decision for the Redskins to sign, and I'm glad that he is away. I find it really interesting. They signed him to a $100 million contract, $45 million guaranteed. He gets paid a lot of money, doesn't do well at all in this season. He's angry. He's a disruptive force in the locker room. No one really likes the guy in the first place. Then he gets traded to the Patriots, and the Patriots, Bill Belichick, is known for sort of handling these head cases like Randy Moss when he first came over. But I think this guy is a little too strong for him. He's a he's not a nice guy, and I don't think you can change him. I think the reason that he was signed by, that Dan Snyder signed him to such a big contract is that he just puts money wherever he wants it. He'll just put money to the, to the biggest person without knowing their background or anything, and it just doesn't make sense. Also... There are other trades going on, like Reggie Bush being traded to the Dolphins, which I thought was very surprising because a big back like him, who's won a Super Bowl with them, has become such, er, and has become such a big person in the NFL, would be traded to Miami. I know that they have Mark Ingram now, but you don't know what he's going to going to do coming up off an ACL uh, injury tear and missing out the majority of. 2010-2011 BCS season. I understand completely, but it's to me in uh, New Orleans, they have Pierre Thomas as a backup, and Mark Ingram is a strong guy. He, I think he can pull through that. But to me, the situation in Miami is a lot more interesting. Him, them signing um, Reggie Bush or trading Reggie Bush, is, it means that they're going to have to cut one of their backs, in Ronnie Brown or Ricky Williams. Ronnie Brown's a free agent, though. Uh, but yeah, yeah, that does it. But that means he won't be able to. Be, they won't sign him back since they have him now. Um, also, uh, moving on now, the trade deadline is coming up on Sunday, and there have been many trades throughout the past few days, like Johnny Gomes being traded to from Cincinnati to the Washington Nationals for a few unnamed prospects. Also, Carlos Beltran, who had a new no trade clause on his contract, okayed the okay to trade to the Giants. And that's our show. Thank you very much for watching. Alongside me is Raj and I'm Frank. Thank Bye. you very much. Bye.